We begin today with an interview with acclaimed American entertainer Jeffrey Daniels from the Shalama fame. He's very popular for creating the popular moonwalk dance sequence that was made popular by Michael Jackson. Daniels spent a considerable amount of time in Nigeria during 2010 and 2013. Recently, he made a short trip back and entertainment news on channels television got him speaking on Nigerian music industry. Here we go. American R&B singer, songwriter and choreographer Jeffrey Daniels needs no introduction. A founding member of the popular 80s group Shalaman, Daniels' dance and choreography created the famed moonwork eventually made popular by Michael Jackson. In 2010, he gained exposure to the Nigerian music industry as a musical reality television show judge for three years. You, you were controlling it. Thank you, sir. You, you, you took Asha's song and you owned it. Karaoke, there's no karaoke, karaoke, <laughs> not in here today. When I hear her sing, she's got that thing like Cher and Tony Braxton. There's so many people exploding, you know. You cannot come here and do implosion. They will show you, Pepe. I believe in you, so I'm going to give you a yes. Even though that I came off the show, I'm still here. Because I think the greatest resource in Nigeria are the people. The people. And that's what really inspires and endears me to Nigeria. That's why I'm still here, because I have a passion for the people and the country. If you love the people and you love the country, then you can weather the storm that we're all going through here. I'm going through the same thing Nigerians go through. I'm not exempt from that. Uh, if there's gas lines and, and if there's a power shortage, whatever the fact, I'm here experiencing it all along with Nigerians. So it takes people who are really genuinely interested in Nigeria itself, and that's my interest. Over the past few years of picking interest in Nigerian music, Daniels has mentored a couple of new talents. It's marveled at how much the industry has been created from nothing. How the entertainment industry in Nigeria has just raised and nourished itself. You know, without any outside help, without help from the government, uh, they, they have uh, raised, nourished, and sustained themselves. So that in itself shows a testament of the strength of the Nigerian entertainment industry. And now they're getting uh, accolades around the world and starting to branch out. So that, that's just an amazing thing. Nigerian music is heavily characterized by dance elements. The most successful songs are the ones with heavy beats and groovy melody. Although there is an old act here and there like Adekunle Goat and Primo who can garner commercial success from making other genre of music, the industry is largely monolithic. Daniels, who has seen aspiring singers show pure talent in other genre at the start only to cross over to the dominant pop sound after a while, believes artists have to truly focus on their strengths and strive to be original. Remind us how we used to be. Three 
yes, yes, we're going to see you in Lagos. Ah, <laughs> don't die here. What service? Ah. And one shoe came off. <laughs> oh. oh, baby, are you okay? Every generation has a thing, you know. So I don't mean to like speak like uh, like I'm an authority on them or something like that. But all I can say is, if people are going into the entertainment industry for the wrong reasons, then you're going to get the wrong results. For me, myself, and all I can advise to people, no matter what it is that you want to do, entertainment, agriculture, law, business, try to be the best. Try to master it. Try to perfect it. Don't just try to go for the money, go for the fame, go for the quickie. Oh, I just want, to, I want a big car. I want to live in a big house. Th those will be the byproduct if you're very successful at what you do. And the only way to be successful at what you do and sustain it is to master it, to research, to, to work at it. And even when you think you've got there, continue to keep working. Michael Jackson, he had the number one album in history and was still working as hard as ever when it came to the next album. He didn't just rest and say, okay, I've outsold the Beatles and Elvis Presley, so let me relax. He kept striving and he kept working. Prince, until he died, still striving, still working after all these Grammys and Oscars. So. I would say to the young people, if you want longevity, if you want real validity, perfect your art, perfect your craft. Don't just think about the quick money, the, the, the fame and that, because that'll go, that's fleeting. In recent times, Nigerian singers, including Wizkid, David O and Tiwa Savage, have received international recognition and have scored select international collaborations. For me, Niger music stands on its own. If you, if you want to collaborate with somebody overseas and that for, uh, I guess they're trying to make their mark overseas, that's probably why they're doing it, I don't know. But it's not like they need it. Nigerian music can stand on its own. And I, I would advise <laughs> Not that I'm, you know, the authority for the Nigerian artists, but the only thing I would like to advise them, tell your story. Don't try to just be like Lil Wayne. Don't dress up like Jay-Z. Don't dress up like, like Drake and them. Because they're dressing and being from where they're from. The world doesn't know the Lagos story. The, the world doesn't know the Joss story. The world doesn't know the Enugu story or the Abuja story or the, uh, you know, the different areas around in Lagos. If you tell that story and if you show that to the world, they're going to be interested in it rather than you imitating the people over there. So I would, I would say to the Nigerian artists, be genuine. Be yourself because you're going to be unique to the rest of the world. For three years, Jeffrey Daniels was judge of the music reality show Nigerian Idol alongside Yenka Davids, Aldo Meikori, who was later replaced by Charlie Boy and later Femi Kuti.